Okay. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dustin White. You from White You Games, standing for you don't understand games, and that's why I play them. Welcome back to the Uncertain. I'm sorry it's been a while since I played. Now, I'm doing this live. Just letting you know. Now I don't know what to do here. A wheelchair. Yes. I will only use it if my servo motors fail. Why would your servo motors fail? I do not need it. My legs function very well. Yeah, but you have the option of using it. Does that mean eventually I'm going to need it? What's this? A LED flashlight that is still functioning. This will be useful. Uh, well then, let's take it. Take your time, though. Okay, now I have an LED flashlight. How are you guys today? I am excellent. What's this? The purpose of this device was to help those who could no longer walk by themselves. It has been inappropriately applied to me. That doesn't make any sense. A compact analog for the intercom. The unit is not functioning. Lovely. I cannot determine the logic of these symbols. It may be a code. <laughs> I need a key to calculate its algorithm. <laughs> so, you, well, you don't have to worry about eyesight. What's this? Is this where I just came out of? I think it is. Let's look around first. Don't tell me I'm going to move on with the storyline. I have a flashlight, but I should explore illuminated rooms first. You're not wrong. This room was the first place where my freedom was severely limited. Such situations should be avoided. Ah, uh, you are not wrong about that either. What about this? Why would humans make so many interior doors? The atmosphere and air pressure is equal on both sides. Good point. Except for I believe we're in a hospital. Not that it matters. You know what? I see exactly what you're talking about. It is locked. Well, use your fancy robot skills and get it unlocked. What's this? Oh. Uh, click it. An electric fuse. It is too big to be useful. Take it anyway. I cannot use this fuse anywhere. Anywhere? Have you explored this place? Let's go talk to this guy. It looks like this robot is fixing something. Oh, do you need help? I happen to be an expert at doing these things. <clears throat> Welcome. Hi. Greetings. Hello. I am RT217NP. My original purpose is unknown. Yes. I am repair bot RB051 Patrick. Gregory said that you would join us. Can you help me out, RT? Of course. If it is within my powers. My powers. I need to replace the con. Hang on. I think I need to turn up the game volume just a little bit more. Okay. Contactors in this electrical panel. Can you bring me some spares? I saw them in the utility room. It is the one with a broken door. There is no lighting there yet. In case night vision is not applicable in your model, there is a flashlight in the hallway. I found the flashlight already. I will do it shortly. Hospital. Why are you equipping this abandoned hospital? Gregory decided to have a base here. Their choice was not random. He and Abigail used to work in such a place. A hospital suits us well, because it is designed for helping humans. Unfortunately, the first group of humans dies in a crash. <laughs> we still do not know why it happened. The police arrived at the crash scene in a few minutes. The USS probably found out about your plans, and the crash was not just an accident. There was no time to investigate, because we left the crash scene immediately. We will probably know more after we contact our allies. Thank you for the info. Hm. I will go search for the contactors. Thank you. Did you find the contactors? Not yet. I will come back later. Alright. Well, I didn't get to ask him about anything else. That's fine. I have not fully 
explore this glory. Oh my god. Alright. Can I just walk into this room? I can. Ooh, what's this? A medical tablet. Do I need to take it? A new patient, uh, Spooner, has been admitted today. He has a major arm trauma and multiple burns, but all non fatal. According to Spooner, his home robot forced him out of the house and prevented him from saving his wife and daughter. Unfortunately, they didn't survive because the house collapsed on top of them. Spooner is in shock. I passed him on to the psychiatrist. So robots was the cause of all these problems? The purpose of the item is unknown. It is most likely a medical device. Achievement! Everybody lies. The robot is missing his legs. His left arm is obviously from a police robot, and his right arm probably belonged to a construction robot. I can't stop eating these chips. They're amazing. So damaged? Well, why don't we ask him and find out? I like that this whole story is a story light. I don't have to really talk much. I mean, obviously, I'm still going to talk, but you get my point. Ow. <laughs> Hello, I am busy at the moment, but let us talk later. What about you? This robot's design and proportions look different from any robot I have ever seen. According to its color, it may be similar to Gregory. They are probably the same type of model. Hello. I knew you were a girl. Hello. Your design looks similar to Gregory's. I presume you are a medical bot? That's right. I am a medical bot, MBR 411. Abigail. Hi, my Abigail. My purpose is care and treatment of patients. Humans will arrive here soon, and my skills could be useful. Problems with lighting. What should I do? Where are the police officers? How long have you been here? How long have you been here? Looks like this building has been abandoned until recently. Oh, just a couple days. We were looking for a building that could be our HQ. A hospital suits us well, because we can accommodate many humans here. Besides, it's close to the area where we plan to meet a group of survivors from the shuttle. Sadly, something went wrong. Thank you for the information. No problem. You're welcome. I like how you can only ask him one question at a time. These cabinets contain provision. It is not expired yet. Oh, so the did the humans uh, die recently? Humans developed genetically modified crops and then declared them dangerous. <laughs> oh, I love the way you think, brother. There is a fuse in a trash dump. Well, then let's take it. This fuse is out of order. Oh. It is useless. Well, then what the pets? Anything else? No? Can't even sway around. Alright. Well, that's everything in this room. Okay, where's the door? Let's go. Come on. Get through the door. There we go. Oh, wait. There's the door over here. For some reason, I assumed that was the exit. Hello! Gregory's design looks similar to the police robot. They probably have the same hardware. No reaction to that? No computer robot reaction to that one at all? It is a model of an 18th century warship. I realize it's artistic and historical value, but why is it in a bottle? And how did it get there? Oh, come on. Even you could figure that out. This radio is more than a century old. It is much older than the one in my house. You're not wrong. Oh, what's this? A holographic table. Inoperable. I suspect that is due to a power failure. Oh. RT? Looking around? How are you doing? 
Have you met the others? I met Abigail. I guess she is your assistant. Her speech is not typical for a robot. No, it's very human. I also talked to Patrick. He asked for help with the power supply. I was just going to do it. I also met Nick. He looks very damaged. He was busy, so I didn't bother him. I see. You probably have questions. Yes, you are right. I do? Humans. Tell me more about humans. I obviously don't have reliable information. Our knowledge about humans is not complete yet. As soon as we found out there are small groups of humans hiding in the cities, we realized that the self-destruction story was not true. We know for a fact that the USS locates humans and disintegrates anyone who saw them. That is why leaving the shelter is very risky for all of us. We also know that the USS does not destroy humans, but transfers them somewhere on shuttles. One of those crashed near you. We still do not know where the USS moves the humans. Hmm. It is not clear why the shuttle crashed. I tried to reboot the pilot, but failed. Is he beyond repair? The pilot was our ally, and he could tell us about the crash. But we do not have the equipment to repair him. Hmm. His memory chip was damaged during the crash, but most of the data is still intact. So the pilot that hijacked the shuttle was supposed to save the humans from being transferred to the USS? That is right. The pilot was supposed to save them and bring them here. Most likely he knew the original USS destination. I see. Thank you for the answers. I will return to my current task. All right. Oh. This chip belonged to some unknown device. It is useless to me. Is it? I do not need this chip. <laughs> okay, you're right. you're right. Okay, my bad. I'll see you later. Okay. Now, d does that count as exploring everything? Now, is this the door I was supposed to go through? Oh. Oh, this is... This is the one. Uh, there's two ways to go right. I need to find some contactors here. Oh, okay. For a second there, I thought he was going to say no. Oh, good. Nothing's going to jump out at me, right? Can I walk? No. This is just first person, point and click. Right now, I haven't seen anything. Scrolling about really slowly. There's nothing here. Acrylic paint. Ineffective. Only outdated oh. robots are covered with this type of paint. Magnesium sulfate. It is useless to me. I don't know what a contactor is, so I'm going to be clicking everything until I freaking find it. I found one electric contactor. Oh. I should look for more in case it is not enough. Okay, it looks like that. Good to know. Second contactor. The task would be easier if I had infrared vision or an item scanner. Yeah! An oxygen cylinder. It is empty. Oh, I see. The mouse turns yellow when I find something. I have no high temperature protection. This device could stop a fire, but it is too bulky to carry around. And besides, it is not functioning. Well, how do you know? Oh, here's another thingy. Third contactor. It appears intact. An analog device for weighing small objects. It is very inaccurate. <laughs> Acrylic paint. In effect. Ah, okay. But wasn't there something up here that you saw? No, maybe not. Okay, nothing on the in the lockers. I tried that already, I believe. A powder extinguisher. It expired six years, eight months, and twelve days ago. Okay. An empty metal container. <laughs> well, yes, yes, it is. 
And there goes the dogs. Oh. A screwdriver. I do not need it right now. Well, take it and put it somewhere where you can find it later. Fourth contactor. I think this will be enough. I will give these fuses to Patrick. Beautiful. Oh, I thought Kara was home. Patty Rick, I found some. Did you find the contactors? I did. Yes, this is all I could find. Good. Now I can finish my work. Thank you. What else can I do while I'm here? Nothing for now. <laughs> Thank you once again. I am glad to be of help. RT, Nick needs your help. Please speak with him. Good. <laughs> Good. Which one's Nick? I don't remember who Nick is. Was he Nick? Guess we'll find out. Thank you for coming, RT. Yep. It is good that you joined our organization. Gregory told me that we have all been deliberately misinformed about what happened to the humans. Although USS Robotics had never approved of humans, I always felt curious about them. I read their books and explored their items that I found. The corporation failed to stop me, only because I blocked automatic updates. You are right. Most robots downloaded the malicious update and are now indifferent to humans. Oh. In fact, they alarm the police at the detection of any human or robot oh. who has been in contact with a human. The fact that the police arrived so quickly at the crash site is unusual. I hope we can figure out what happened. At first, I assumed that it was you who led them to the crash, but then I discovered that you did not send an alert to the police. This must mean that you have not been contaminated by the update, and I do not have to interfere with your intellectual block. Then again, Gregory will fill in the details. I just wanted to ask for some help. We are restoring the building's main systems. I fixed the intercom, so now we have the internet. Oh. The only way anyone can detect us is if we let them. RT, the you servers are, are on the basement level. Could you please start servers number one, three, and four? One, three, four, got it. Then make sure all the nodes are functioning and activate the connection to the internet. After that, please return here. Okay. I will do what I can. Okay, one, three, and four. Give me one second. I am live, so give me one second. Oh, oh, good. They wrote it down right here for me. I appreciate that. Okay, hang on. I had to fix some errors with my Gmail and CPU. No wonder my PC has been slow. Okay, let's see if I have it. And hello, Dragon Raider. Welcome back. <gasps> I got a banner. 100 subs with no vids. <laughs> oh, that is beautiful. I like it. Let's download it somehow. It's called Backgrounder. Okay. Let's see. Okay, I did that. Now, how do I set a banner? Is it on the edit thingy? Is it the cover image? Right click what? I don't know what you're talking about. Is it the cover image? Is that what you're talking about? Or is that something completely different? Obviously. Oh yeah, duh. Okay, cancel that. Obviously I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, the cover image. It is. The okay, good. Drag and drop your image or browse. I think I'll browse because I just downloaded it and didn't see where it went. Uh, backgrounder. Uploading. Please wait. Dude, you are awesome. This this looks so good. I just put it up. But I am also recording, so I probably should jump right back into uh, playing.
but how's it look? You know, if you click, I think you have to click refresh, I'm not sure. Anyway, let's move on with the story. That is very appreciated, you have no idea. Okay, figuring out how to get out of the story again. Okay, so I have to go downstairs 1, 3, and 4. And soon I'm going to get a new computer, so it'll be a hell of a lot easier. In the box. <laughs> Congratulations! Not going to tell me what's in the box? I'm getting a new computer soon so I can start playing even better games. It is a fuse, but it is broken and will not work. I like your... How come there's so many broken fuses in this building? It's a hospital, for crying out loud. Oops, hang on. Into the... Okay. Now, what is this? This is an electric switchboard. I will get to work on it as soon as I customize all the other parts of the server. Well, then let's get customizing. This router distributes traffic across the hospital network. It is missing a chip. The router will not work without it. There are a few chips here, but they are out of order. I must find a working chip. I found a chip upstairs. You said I do not need it or... You know what? Let's just go and get it quick. Come on, come on. <laughs> yeah. The, 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 the steps are kind of annoying, in my opinion. Oh, that's why I couldn't see anything. Hold on. Okay. It was... Where was it? I think it was in his, this office? There it is. The hologram's working. If it is functional, then I can fix the router in the server room. Well then, pick it up faster, Mr. Robot with your awesome limbs. Okay, now this thing's working now. It wasn't. The holographic table resumed working as soon as we restored power. It is projecting a hologram of the shuttle where I found the human bodies. Ooh. Hey, back downstairs we go. I, there was another thing in another room. I bet that's one of the things that he said, uh, I do not need it now. A screwdriver. I do not need it now. Well, you're going to need it. should work with this chip. Yay. Can I do anything with it? The router is functioning correctly. I better not touch anything here. Well, at least you are a rational robot. I can open the cover of this console. It is missing a fuse. Well, why don't we go find a fuse? What's wrong with this Starting one? Starting the servers is the highest priority. Can we start them, or do we need an item? Oh, one, three, and four servers. Here's one. I assume this is one. I started the necessary server. Yes! Highest priority. Set up an internet I'm, I'm. That's what I was working on, sir. Oh, is there anything over here? If I refused to cooperate, I would be disintegrated just like them. Why would the police robots do that? They must have realized the consequences. The USS updates probably damaged their logic module. Oh boy. Okay, so... That's fixed. I need to find a fuse for that one. A really big fuse! Oh my god, I know where the really big fuse is. I have to go all the way back upstairs. Son of a mother duck. It is a really big fuse. It is unuseful to me. Remember that? Oh, here it is. I found a working fuse for the server. Good. Let's go back downstairs. Terminal 
well as functioning now. Good. I still have to set the switches on the switchboard. You're right. Let's do that now. It is missing a switch. Son of a... I need to find it, otherwise I cannot finish setting the server. It is probably somewhere nearby. <laughs> okay. At least you know that it's somewhere nearby. Oh, here it is. Apparently the robot's arm is a hologram because it clips through the fuse. I saw that. Are you going to grab it or are you just going to walk forever? It is the same switch needed for the switchboard. You know, if people thought the same way you did, we wouldn't have gone extinct. Good. It fits perfectly. Good. Now I can finish setting the switchboard. Let me guess, I have to do it manually. Yep, there we go. Oh, it's one of these things. Well, we're back to where we started. Making progress, people. I must activate the data transfer in the console. If I follow the correct procedure, we will have access to the internet. I get I didn't even know I was supposed to do it like that. Did I do it right? Device for not touch the switches. Now I need to activate the data transfer on the terminal and return to Nick. Yes, that's the point of this game, Dragon Raider. Um it, the humans went extinct, and my ro character accidentally came upon some robots, and the police robots came to kill me. And other robots are like, oh, we're trying to save the remaining humans. We thought they were extinct, too. And apparently the police sent us malicious hardware to stop us from even reacting to, to humans if we ever see them. And it also sends the police, hey, this robot found humans, and they come and try to kill, kill us and move the humans somewhere. Now, what does this say? This is probably something I should have read before doing the switch. Tom, thanks for yesterday evening. The uh, exhibition was amazing. The white rabbits were adorable. Call me this weekend, Trisha. Kiss. Wait a minute. Did I have to switch this around? No. Okay, doesn't matter. Okay, so I did everything. So I go upstairs now, right? Question mark. Once we have internet. How long have I been recording for? 32 minutes. Okay. Hey, guys. Guys, hey, I got internet. I can talk to him later. I do oh, okay, fine. What about her? I do not want to disturb her. Well, aren't you the f What's this? Oh, that's the broken fuse. I have already found an intact fuse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. At least you don't talk too much. Oh, maybe it's this guy. Let us not distract him. <sighs> He's becoming quite an introvert. We already talked. I should not take any more of his time. Set up an internet connection. How do I do that? I don't remember what I'm supposed to do. This room was the first place for my freedom. Yeah, 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 you said that too. Downstairs? Did I really miss it? Yep, take your time going downstairs. What else is freaking new? Okay. Setting up an internet connection. I better not touch this. Oh, this thingy! 
God dang it. Really? You want me to do it manually? Fine. Local server console, V1298, blah, 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 check I server. I finished my work. I should return to Nick. All I had to do was press that stupid button. Achievement unlocked. Says, 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 uh, did min. Says, uh, says admin? I don't know. I should return to Nick. I do not want to disturb him. You know, Nick could have said, hey, go downstairs and push the button. Which one's Nick? Is this Nick? I don't remember which one's Nick. I see an active connection, but it took more time than I expected. I'm sorry! Did something go wrong? Yes. I need to replace a few details, but it is all right now. Good. The communication issue is solved then. Abigail and I fixed a portable intercom for you, and I set a protected connection on it. Take it. You will need it on your first assignment. Okay. What will it be? Gregory will let you into details now. What are my favorite games? So, everyone is here. As you already know, a group of humans we intended to accommodate have died in a crash. Abe was disabled. Next thing, we have a new task. Yesterday, our informer, police robot F2, should have brought us data disk with important information. He did not show up and there is no contact with him. We must obtain that data. Our plans will be compromised if the USS gets it first. We cannot enter our informer shelter because we will be detected the moment we step into the city. But police does not know about you, RT. So your task is to go to the city and find out what happened to F2. How do I reach the city? Walking is too long and not safe. Nick fixed an old aero car. Oh. So it is invisible to the radars. Oh. You can take it. Thanks. Good. This will save our time and resources. You may contact us and report the situation. Nick provided you with a portable intercom with an encrypted transmission channel. You cannot be traced, but to avoid suspicion, I do not recommend to use it very often. All right, I see. That is it. Let us move forward. Patrick, prepare the aero car for the flight. All right. Nick, check the communication once more. Abigail, give RT his plasma cutter. He may need it. I, I just left. Oh, Okey no, dokey. that's me. Okay, I'm right there. Never mind. I was supposed to deliver that plasma cutter in the first episode. Never, need, never, never did get to deliver that thing. My favorite games, Awesome Knots, Heroes of the Storm. Used to be World of Warcraft until they had way too many updates. Oh, and let's not forget StarCraft, one of my absolute favorites, but I suck at it. I'm glad I don't have to manually drive it. I cannot be traced, but I am flying with bright lights everywhere. <laughs> he called that an old car. I am on site. This is the informer's house. I need to find apartment number five. Okay, is there anything I should be looking at first? This world is messed up. Yep. It appears that something heavy hit this old-fashioned car. That's all you got to say about it, huh? So, you say how humans made robots so humans should be smarter and stronger. No. Have you seen robotic arms able to smash things um, by themselves? And smarter, no, because hum robots can 
take in every piece of information in the world and remember it and just be like, okay, I need to remember something about hydraulic systems. And immediately a huge map will pop appear in front of their face. Anyway, so no, you're wrong on both accounts. <laughs> I like how human, how the humans, when they made the robots, they added breasts to the girl robots. If my priorities yep. have not changed, I would certainly disassemble this old car for its useful spare parts. However, I do not need this now. Besides, it would be irrational to use my cutter for this purpose. It would certainly damage the details. Give me a minute, my pizza's here. And by my pizza's here, I mean the pi frozen pizza is done. <laughs> okay, so he doesn't want to disassemble a car. Use it for spare parts, it's fine. Oh, what's this? A canister for storage of the liquid fuel that was banned in the last century due to its highly explosive and toxic nature. Okay, let's just go inside then. Apartment number five. I read that humans use these boxes to receive mail. It was a very unreliable method. There was also something about pigeons. <laughs> Yep, you are not very informed right now, are you? The red sign indicates that the unit is powered down and out of use. A device for temperature control in the building. The red light indicates that it has been deactivated. Therefore, it is most likely useless. Is that, a, is that a bike? This is a bicycle, which is a wheeled vehicle propelled by human muscle power. I thought it would be bigger. <laughs> These doors are technically more advanced than the building itself. I think they have been recently replaced. The elevator is broken. I will have to use the stairs. Well, what's this? Who is there? Are you gonna answer? You said, who is there? There's no one home. It is strange. Somebody is answering me after all. <laughs> okay. Achievement unlocked. Trick or treat? Question mark? That was funny. <laughs> okay, apartment number five. What's this? It is empty. Okay, whatever it is, it's empty. Perhaps I could find many useful things here. But right now I have to accomplish another task. Maybe I can come back later. Perhaps. Oh, there's that big bike you were talking about. Despite the scientific progress, humans sometimes prefer primitive vehicles. Why do you want me to touch it? What are you going to do with it? I do not think this bicycle will hold my weight. How heavy are you? It looks like this door has not been opened for quite some time. The police officers have sealed the apartment. Our messenger's cover has most likely been blown. Oh, goody. A police airlock. It cannot be opened without special equipment. I need to find another way to get in. Good thing I can cut the lock off with the plasma cutter, but it would activate the alarm, and that would expose me. Hell, so it'd probably be a good idea to find a way to shut off the alarm, huh? Anything over? Oh no, no, absolutely nothing. So I go back downstairs then. I don't want to go downstairs. Guess I'm going downstairs. I can't go. To that. I can't go this way. All right. Okay, so I'm officially downstairs. Can't do anything with that. Can't do anything with that. Can't do anything with that. Let's knock again. I 
Yeah, you're right. Let's let's try to keep knocking. But I, I'm pretty sure she's just gonna say that last part over and over again. You must leave now, or I will call the police. Oh, that's not good. Okay, I'm done. Achievement unlocked. Annoying. <laughs> What am I supposed to do? A device for temperature. Yeah, yeah, you said that. Can't do anything with that, can't do anything with that. Am I supposed to go outside? Question mark? Yeah, can you go faster? Jesus Christ. I don't want to go outside. It's not giving me a choice. All right. Man, it must be nice to be a robot. You never get old. You never get impatient. What? I'm not getting impatient. What are you talking about? Can I run this way? I cannot. Did I see something? Ooh, there it is. Achievement! The walking robot among us. Humans used to throw out so many useful objects. I built most of my devices using materials that humans considered trash. You know what? I like you. You're a good. You're a good man. Now it is not the time to explore these garbage cans. I wasn't. Well, I my did... priorities have changed. Changed? What? 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 what oh. Maximum power capacity: one point twenty-one gigawatts. Concrete wreckage. Why would I need concrete wreckage? <laughs> it is useless. Well, then don't give me the option. A fire escape. It is built near apartment number five's windows, but I cannot reach it. Besides, there are bars on these windows. I had better check that there's enough charge in the cutter so that I may cut through them. Okay, so I guess we're going back to the car now, so we could do some spare parts with the cutter. If my priorities had not changed, I would certainly just be Okay! Sorry. Forget it. I'm sorry. Although I didn't try to do this yet. It is too high. I need to hook the ladder and pull it down. Hook? Hook? Now it is... Okay. I bet if you went through the garbage, you might find a hook! Okay. How about that cute little bicycle you seem so obsessed about? High chance. Oh. No. I prefer an arrow car. Pain in the ass. What's this? That wasn't there I last time. reached the ladder with this pipe. I just need to detach it. Well then freaking detach it. Do I need the cutter or do I need my hand? Let's try out. F. I failed to detach the pipe by hand. I need to find something heavy and try to break it off. Or I could use my cutter. I better save the cutter's last charge. Okay! Besides, this pipe does not look solid, so I could try and break it off with something heavy. Something heavy, you say? Hmm, something he Are you joking? You just said I can't use it. Why would I need it? A lot of back and forth in this game, I'm not liking it.
Okay, can I go past the freaking light? Thank you. Here's something heavy. Why would I need concrete wreckage? It is useless. It is not useless if you needed something heavy to break the bar. What is this? I can use a brick to break off the pipe in the hall. Or we could use a brick. That's not exactly heavy, but we can use it. God, you, you gotta have no muscle if you say the bike won't hold you. Okay, we got the light, the heavy brick. <sighs> okay, here's the brick. Smashy, smashy! I can most likely break the pipe with the brick. It is one of those rare cases when brute force is more efficient than science. Rare cases. Do I push F again? Oh yes, I... Now we're gonna flood an apartment. Good. Now I can reach the ladder. Good. Let's get out of here before I get wet. Yep. The, the... I can see the, uh... Liquid's definitely growing. Am I gonna accidentally myrtleize some people? Let's get out of here. And by people, I mean robots, because they can't take water. My robot can, but they can't. I thought you said it could reach the ladder! It is not working. Unfortunately, I cannot jump. Well, at least you know. Should I try to stand on this wreckage and reach the ladder? Yes! Oh boy, that thing looked heavier than the brick. But for some reason... <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Good job. Q, E, Q, E, Q, E, Q, E, Q, space. Oh, you vaulted over that pretty good. You should check its charge before you before you do that. You told me that. Remember, you said. Do you remember? If there's a robot in there, how come he's not questioning the bright light outside his window? This robot is less smarter than I expected. <laughs> yeah. Am I going to be tackled as I come in? You... Looks like the police officers did not notice me. Looks like it. It only took you forever. I would like to read this old literature, but it is not the time and the place. Well, then take one with you. I cannot carry any extra materials now. Oh. I better come back later when I have the chance to digitize these books. You know, there's a lot of things you keep saying you need to come back later to. There are only books and some useless junk on these shelves. Okay. Police are quite active in this part of the city. I need to be careful. So let's go right up to the window and An say that out loud. Okay. PC. It appears that it has been used recently. Oh, cool. Let's take it. You won't believe it, but I saw it with my own eyes. A damn robot jacked the aero car. I just can't believe they could do such a thing. I mean, maybe it's some kind of power failure. Listen. Turn off Jeff's auto updates, just in case. If this is some kind of bug, we better be on the safe side. Okay, nothing to say about that. It is obvious that the police officers have searched the apartment carefully. Were they looking for the same things as me? Don't know. What's in here? There is nothing useful here. Absolutely nothing. Ooh, what's this? 
An elegant weapon from a less civilized time? Yep, let's take it. The ammunition for this weapon has not been produced for many years, so it is completely useless. There is no point in disassembling it either, because it is too primitive to operate. Police around here. A lot around here. Oh yeah, only one cop car comes by within 30 minutes. <laughs> Our messenger's intercom. This model is newer than the one in the hospital. It is functioning. Sounds like something we should take with us. It most likely contains useful information, which could help me to find the data disk. Alright. What kind of mail do we have? I, I can't see. Can you zoom in, sir? I can't see it. This one has an attachment. F2! Why are you not responding? Are you are your systems operational? I will relocate the group. As so as to avoid risk, I will wait for you in the core. I installed an extra defense protocol. Check the painting. You painting? You will need the key. My dear friend, accept my apology, please, for sending you this letter with no your consent. Mine name, the Honorable Mr. Daniel, without any claim to come up with the money. And if I, if not, if left not unclaimed, will be transferred to the state treasury of the bank. So I invite you to do a deal where we can facilitate the transfer of this fund. 40% to your person, to you. 40% to you as your percent. If you agree with my proposal, further details of the transfer will be sent, will be to you sent. Please, I urge you to order the send me personal your email address. This guy does not know how to talk. I wait for your reply as soon as possible. Yours faithfully, Daniel A. Enora. USS Core. Update, blah blah blah, changes in this edition, Opti optimization with the stabilization system, when the battery charges at a low level, an error with the connecting to the USS Finder from a private network is corrected. A function that erases the daily log, book files is added. Algorithm of data transmission in 12G network is improved signal system for the detection of illegal objects is added. Wow. Various improvements and the optimization of the operating system are added. The vol, vol, well, I, I know how to talk. Vulnerability that allows passing by of the firewall protecting the installation of third-party software is corrected. Please switch to the USS portal to receive detailed info and download this update. Nope. So something about a painting. Okay, no calls. Good. I need to delete this mail so no one will ever read it. Oh, that was easy enough. Okay, something about a painting. Okay. Pete, they kidnapped my wife and daughter while we were looking for supplies. I have no idea what they're doing. Oh boy, this is where the robots kidnapped humans. A police dock station is different from mine in color and connection type. I cannot charge myself here. Where can you charge yourself, sir? Here's a painting. I'm not even going to look at it. Just go for it, man. Oh! Oh! There is a secret safe deposit behind a painting. It is likely that the safe contains what I am searching for. <laughs> Very likely. Can I figure it Physical out? Physical force is not enough to open this safe. I was going to say, can I figure it out? I am stuck. I need to contact Gregory and decide what to do next. Hello, Gregory. Hello, Gregory. I'm on site. Describe the situation. Did you succeed in entering the informer's apartment? <laughs> yes. But Chance. Not That's enough. F2. There's an airlock on the front door. It looks as though the police were here recently and searched the place. If they found the data, we are in trouble. The disk is probably still here. I found a secret safe that has not been opened by the police, but I do not know how to open it. I will ask Nick to help you. What else did you find? I saw an unread message on the F2's intercom. It was received less than a day ago. 
most likely after the police visited the apartment. It says that the informer had an appointment in a place called The Core. The Core? Let me see. There is an abandoned bar with such name 12 kilometers away from where you are. If you do not find the disc here, you should go and check there. Something tells me I'm not going to find the disc here. How do I crack a safe? Nick will connect to it using your intercom. Explore its security and tell you what to do. It is strange that the police did not open the safe during the search. It was hidden behind a painting. They probably just didn't find it. A secret safe? But how did you find it? I was looking at the painting when I noticed that it can be opened. Oh, I saw an email. I'm curious that you noticed that. Robots usually do not pay attention to pieces of art. That is probably why the police officers could not locate the safe. Okay, I am giving you Nick. Report when you find anything. Over. Connecting. 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 Hello, RT. Hello. Put your intercom closer to the safe so I can connect to it. Alright. <laughs> so he just shuts it off. The safe is next to me. Good. I am launching a connection. Connected. The safe is old fashioned. I already found information about a security vulnerability of this model on the internet. We need a factory reset. Done. The safe has just generated a new password. I intercepted the password, but it is encrypted. What do we do? It uses cryptographic protection, which cannot be hacked remotely. I will write you a password guessing program. Swap the elements on the save screen and use the hints on the intercom panel. <sighs> Ready. You can start now. RT, I am cutting the connection. Someone is trying to intercept our signal. We must go radio silent for a few hours. You have got everything you need to crack the safe. Over. I have never cracked anything. Now <laughs> I can only count on myself. Oh, it's a five. It's that's not it. That's it. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, it's a six. Oops, I had it. Six done. Right? No. Oh, what the hell? What do I do? You're not making any noises like the other thing did. Do I have to do anything with this? No? Okay. I didn't know there was going to be noises. He didn't say anything about noises. Not everything has a noise. Oh, good. Five. Oh, my God. Well, there's one number. <laughs> nope. Okay, one of them is definitely an eight. I know that for a fact. Okay, I do not know that for a fact. I feel like I'm going to have to do some heavy... <laughs> oh, 
Are you joking right now? I don't have time for this crap. Alright, you know what? The next one's a seven. Okay. Next one's a one, it looks like. Maybe I'm wrong. Hey, what's this thing supposed to do for me? <laughs> this is a bunch of bull. Your bad says things. My bad says things? What's my bad? I'm waiting to see if my intercom thingy does anything. I might have to edit this part. Hey, it looks like it's a three. Are you going to let me do a three? No. No, you are not. This is a stream. Yeah, this is a... Yeah, but I can, I'm recording it so I can edit it later. Maybe... Oh, maybe a six. Does an eight not count yet? It's a perfect eight. It's perfect, but I can't do anything with it. This is such bull. This is a bunch of bull. How about a four? Can I do anything with a freaking four? No. The second to the last piece is wrong. You know what? You're probably right. It could be another seven. Oh, that that would that would annoy me. Or is it a nine? <sighs> Three out of five. Okay. Five, seven, nine. Son of a. You can't tell me it's another seven. Well, you can. Sweet. Got through that one good. This one looks like a four. Yep. Whoa. Achievement unlock. Hacker. Yeah, all I need is time. Like an hour. But that's all I need. That is a big key. As I expected, there is no data disk inside, but it seems that I found the key that is referred to in the letter. I have to take a risk and go to a bar called The Core, where I will probably find something of use. Good, let's close this. Or not, that's fine too. Can I take a book yet? I cannot carry it. Okay. 
Should probably get out of here, though. Wait, is there anything else? Anything at all? Oh, <gasps> there's a... Is this what I think it is? Oh, no. Okay, it was... Oh, so police. Yeah, yeah, never mind. Forget it. What's this? Apparently, this is some kind of container. It's a vacuum. Okay, there's nothing else really to explore here. Good. Bye! I should go. I will not find anything else here. And this is where I am going to cut it. I have... I've got to eat. I've got stuff to do. I apologize. And sorry, Dragon Raider, for leaving you. <laughs> but let's wait for the cinematic to end. We'll find out what's in the core. Why are the windows nailed down in this building? Sounds like I need to go anyway. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. The first episode of it is on my YouTube, just letting you know. Um, and this episode is going to be on my YouTube once I edit a little bit of it. <laughs> but. Dragon Raider, thank you so much for the uh, background. That is awesome. I was, I really like it. There is no one here. The lighting is functioning, although the building looks long abandoned. It is weird. If it's long abandoned, I just have one question. Why are the lamps working? Who's been replacing the bulbs? They break, e they go out immediately. Or, immediately. After a time. Alright, well thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Dustin YDU from YDU Games, standing for You Don't Understand Games, and that's why I play them. This has been The Uncertain. Awesome game so far. I'm going to keep playing it. Okay, stop recording now, and I'll have to see you later.